Good afternoon, Matt here from Camelot Classic Cars, and in this video we will be bench testing an externally regulated GM Delco Remy alternator. So let's start off by first identifying the difference between an internally regulated and an externally regulated. On the left here we have an externally regulated alternator. Easiest way to determine that is from the pins. These pins go in the same direction as the alternator itself as opposed to an internally regulated, which have the pins going horizontally or across the width of the alternator. This is a 10SI alternator. The SI stands for Systems Integrated, which means internally regulated. So again, this video will be bench testing an externally regulated alternator, which we have hooked up right over here. Now we will be testing this without the voltage regulator hooked up. We have ground to our voltmeter, and going directly to our battery. We have our positive lead from the battery going to the output of the generator itself. Also connected to the output of the generator itself is the hot lead going to our voltmeter. On terminal 2, which is our field terminal, on an externally regulated, we have this wire, which is our exciter wire. This will be, not right now, but when we are starting to spin it, we will touch this to the positive terminal that will send juice into the field coil, which will create the magnetic field necessary for the alternator to work. So let's go ahead and um, we'll turn on our voltmeter. We we'll, we'll see we are running 12.4 volts. That is on the battery itself. And we will start spinning this. And as it's turning, I will keep the camera on the voltmeter and show the battery, uh, I'm sorry, the terminal attached to the positive terminal. Let's go ahead and start. You have to go full throttle. So nothing, when I touch the terminal, you jump up and you'll hear the difference when I release. And back on. Okay. And that is how you test a GM Delco Remy externally regulated alternator.